What's really good YouTube? This is District 1 and today I'm so excited to be reviewing the Crocs and Salehi Benbury collaboration, the Pollux in the Stratus colorway. But before I get into it, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell for any updates. So my man Salehi Benbury has been killing the sneaker collaboration game recently with projects with the likes of Anta, New Balance, more recently now, the Crocs. But in order to appreciate this project, you have to know the man behind the collaboration. Salehi is a native of NYC, and having graduated from Syracuse University with a degree in industrial design, he started his career working as an intern at Payless Shoe Source. Afterwards, he went on to work at multiple companies that you may or may not have known, such as Damon Dash's DD172 as an intern turned senior designer. By reportedly working on a plastic table, he bought from Dwayne Root. Afterwards, he had stints at Buscemi's Greats and later on at Cole Hahn, part of the design team responsible for the iconic Lunar Grand. After exchanging several emails on the side with Ye, the Yeezy team extended an invite to the New York-based Bembury to join the design team in California, where he started working on the 750 and then eventually the 350 V2. After working with Ye on the side, he was hitting up the in-mail DMs using his in-mail credits wisely to hit up a contact at Versace to eventually be the head of designers of sneakers at Versace. Having that three and a half year stint at Donatella's fashion house, he is now on his own venture, Sponge, and collaborating with so many brands to instill his design language into these collaboration projects. So this collaboration between Crocs and Salehi is a truly unique silhouette. Other collaborations for Crocs leverage the classic clog model. However, if you look into the details of the Pollux, it really calls for a unique injection molding tooling. So checking out the exterior of this clog, it's clear that this clog calls for a completely custom cavity and core. But when you look inside of the clog, it looks exactly the same as any other Croc. This suggests that the insert that's used for this Pollux is the same as a classic clog. What this means for you guys is that if you're curious, just go to your local store, try on a few Crocs, and those should be your exact same size. The Pollux also features a turbo heel strap, which is also present in the outdoor versions of their classic clog, but you notice that the triangular attachment that's going into the clog is completely custom. It even has Salehi's branding on it. So for this drop of the Pollux Crocs, they all come in this fully cardboard box. The previous drop was with this combination of particle board as well as plastic. So one thing to note, a lot of fakes out there for this particular drop, if you have the one with the particle board and the plastic, you got a fake one. Dang! So the Pollux dropped first last year in two different colorways, the Cucumber and the Manemsha colorway, and each of them had replacement straps but here from this recent drop, which includes the Crocodile, the Urchin, and this Stratus colorway, it only comes with one strap. So in terms of the inspiration for these sneakers or these clogs, you see his other projects and he finds a subtle way to sneak his fingerprint in, but this time, this whole piece of footwear is his fingerprint. I mean, look, look at the bottom, look at the top, look around, it's pretty ingenious. What's also mind-blowing is that when you wear these out in the streets, you step into a puddle and you jump onto the pavement, you'll make the imprint on the pavement. So in terms of sizing, these joints fit huge. I recommend a full size down from your Nike size or your true to size. And if you're curious about sizing still, make sure you go out to the store and try out different pairs of Crocs because they should fit the same. Like I said before, the insert use for the inside of the clog is the same as a classic clog. Now I've heard on the internet that if people are curious about shrinking their Crocs to help them better fit their feet, I highly recommend you guys not to do it with these Crocs. So on a recent vacation, I became obsessed with how I could optimize the sizing for these Crocs. So you can see these Crocs roasting in the Palm Springs desert sun. So I went a step further and I decided to throw these Pollux's in a dryer. Yes, 
my coveted Crocs in the dryer. So I saw online that you could actually shrink them by throwing in a wet towel initially into the drying machine. Afterwards, you throw in your pair of Crocs here. Set the heat to low or medium and the timer, you should time it to about three or four minutes. You take it out and what I do is put on double socks, throw on these Crocs and let the Crocs conform to your feet. So here, I actually was able to reduce it down to half size. So in terms of craftsmanship, you guys know I usually review sneakers and not clogs, but you can see here that there are rubberized portions that interface with the EVA foam of the Pollux. And I would say it's pretty clean in terms of assembly. I do note that there is a huge parting line on the bottom of the clog, but I think this is something I'm willing to forego, especially when I'm wearing these a lot and there's gonna be a lot of wear and tear and uh, these are just made for wearing for me at least now let me strap these up and give you a fit check Going on to fits, I really dig this clean fit with the nice pop of green with the cactus plant flea market socks. I really love this ensemble, especially paired with that tote bag. Also in a business casual attire, these Crocs go hard. So I started to think that a white pair of Crocs go with a lot of different types of outfits, no matter the color blocking as you can see here. And here you see a tonal hit, a full cream. And actually these Crocs are not fully white in hand, they're actually off-white and cream colored with a little bit of light beige. You know I'm Dub Nation and one half of the Splash Brothers loves these Crocs as well. I don't know where Rocco is, but clearly these Crocs fit within his nautical lifestyle. I mean Crocs started out as boat shoes, so it just makes sense. Now in terms of my overall thought, I just gotta say my man Salehi has done it again. He made something so iconic and it's reverberating in the space. You see it all over social media and there's actually a dedicated cult following Instagram page just for this model. How crazy is that? And this most recent drop of the three different colorways is very well executed. You have the more wearable Stratus colorway, which I have right here, but you have the more crazy and wild crocodile colorway, which is actually lost in the mail for me. So if you have those, give them back. Three weeks later. So I've been wearing these Pollocks for a month now and I want to give you guys my honest opinion. So in terms of fit, these are clogs. So if you're expecting a one-to-one -one fit like sneakers, you're probably not going to find that here. It's going to be more of like a sandal-like experience rather than a sneaker experience. So in terms of comfort, these are very, very comfortable. They're very great for lounging. I wouldn't say they're perfect for hiking or long walks, but they're great for little strolls around town, little strolls around the block, as well as just going outside and chilling. I also find that I enjoy wearing these without socks rather than with socks. It's just more of a comfortable, easy breezy feel, especially it's the summer, it's muggy, it's hot outside. That's what I would go with for these Pollocks. So in terms of styling these joints, they're so versatile in my wardrobe and every time I walk outside, I always see people breaking their necks, huge plus. Also, people just stop me in the middle of the street asking me how I got these. So it's really, really cool. So in the end, I'd love to hear you guys think. Do you guys think that this is the first pair of Crocs you'll ever own? Because these are definitely my first pair of Crocs. Or do you have a huge collection and you just want to add one to the inventory? Let me know in the comments down below. So I really like to thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.